One thing you will know, notice about the web internet, I'm pretty sure we agreed on that. If you own the content, you own the net. Anyone have a problem with that? So the next logical step is own the content. And I'm not saying content is king. That's just one you know, very simplistic way of putting it. It is not all of it. I mean, you still need links, for instance, and, and networks, and, and this, that, and the other. But at, at the end of the day, what it boils down to you as affiliates or as operators, especially in the gaming business where competition is fierce, as you don't need me to tell you, uh, is to have fresh sites, plenty of them, with plenty of content that's unique. You don't really want to copy other stuff and get into deep waters in terms of copyright violation or even duplicate content uh, penalties. You want it scalable, meaning, let's say you, have, you hire some copywriters, be it in India or wherever, who will write you an article for something like five, six, seven, eight, or maybe even 12 or 15 dollars. That's fine. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not. Usually it isn't. But um, if you need a thousand or two thousand of those per week, it uh, starts to hurt in your purse. Now, if I told you that you could actually get these for under a dollar or even under 50 cents, depending on the, on the uh, amount you order, uh, that might be a different story. Have a look at this sample article. This is just a generic one. It was generated 100% automated, meaning quite a bit of human input before. It was We were able to generate it, of course, but from then on, we can generate, let's say, 1,000, 2,000, a million, 50 million, whatever you like, and each will be different. Would you like, or could you? do you think you could use a an article, this is just one of them, of course, we'll see more. An article which is fairly readable to the human eye, which a search engine editor will not find displeasure with, which you probably won't win a Pulitzer Prize with, but that may be more topic related than anything else. But where at the end of the day, it is grammatically correct. It is not a robot writing like a robot. It's basically a robot writing like a human. And notice that, I have to confess, that's what I put in manually here because uh, of various technical issues. I was, just did this in my hotel room this morning. But uh, you know, let's say you know, see your, your link in here, properly anchor texted. Ralph, are you now saying that's just, that... That's just an article, but uh, yeah. Ralph, are you trying to get to the point that content's important and mass content is something that should be delivered within a website. And it should be, as I said, mass content is that's exactly what you're saying, that scalability is the issue. This is the same job. And it's an entirely different article, right? That's what you want to create. I'm not here to sell you a service. I'm telling you what is one of the really super duper, I would say SEO secrets, but one of the super duper SEO strategies you'd really want to go for, what to consider, creating your own content or have it created in scalability and quality. Uh, I don't really like that you know, distinction between white hat and black hat too much anymore. Black hat SEO used to be about tricking algorithms. White hat was about not tricking anyone uh, and lose your rankings anyway, but okay. <laughs> so Ralph, let me ask you then, if we agree we want the scalability of content, do you get that from a team of monkeys bashing away on a typewriter technical implementation or a huge team of content writers and journalists around the world? What's the way that we have to do that? The way you have to do this is to actually get into automated content creation. Now that, uh, the problem with that is that people have, you know, funny ideas. I mean, it's more or less about science fiction. You know, they think, you know, ha, I'll tell you, you write me an article on online poker and you press a button and suddenly I have 50 million different articles on online poker. This may or may not happen. It depends on what you put into it in the first place. And that's, that's the whole point. 
uh, you get a lot of article spinners around there, free and some commercial and so on. And one problem you will have, you will encounter with them, I'm going to show you this uh, in a minute, is uh, that they're usually not, not up to it in terms of actually ch you know, saving time when you do this stuff. I mean, uh, there's no point, you know, if you take about 100 hours to generate 100 articles. If you invest 100 hours, and you well, very well might, depends on how long the article is, and how sophisticated, and this, that, and the other, and how, how much, you know, uh, variance you actually want to achieve. If you actually do that, then you should be good for something like, let's say, a million articles. Now, don't ask me what I'm going to do with a million articles. That's your problem. You want a million no, links? You need a million articles? How about that? Ralph, it's not our problem. We're here to learn from you. <laughs> We've got a million articles wherever we get them from. What do we do with a million articles? Tell us. You've got the brains and we want to learn. Well, one thing you'll have to do, for example, you have to look for, and that's something you won't see in these long texts, which is why I'll switch to a, a, a smaller text just to illustrate this, is a, um, let's say, a consistency between your titles and your, your texts. Let's say... Ralph, speak to the mic, pal. Let's say you have a, this is a very simplistic text, let's say you have a text which says what you need to know about playing mm, game, that's a placeholder of course, online. And you want to optimize this, or write, you want to actually, this is optimized in terms of keywords. And you want to re generate text which targets either poker or kino for instance, or uh, roulette, or baccarat, or bingo, or whatever it is. When you have bingo in the title, you want bingo and the body text, don't you? Because otherwise, if you don't do that, and I'm telling you, there's no article spinner out there will do that for you. If you don't, you'll have an inconsistency. You might have a title that's SEO-wise optimized for bingo, but the text is optim optimized for Kino. No good. Ralph, we've got a question from the floor. Sure. Hi. Do you not think that creating lots of content that doesn't really have a purpose is devaluing the industry? Very good question. Well, man. it does have a purpose. It has the purpose to get your site ranked. It has a purpose to make you money. If that's not enough of a purpose, I don't know what is. But users need to go on a site that's going to help them. It's not about, it's not about our right. That's a good, good uh, point. This is not so much about the users. What I'm talking about here is as an SEO. This is not about, don't, don't buy into that Google. Uh, it's all about the user experience shit. Ralph, what do you say? Because uh, hold on, please. Because uh, what I'm what I'm saying here, this is about getting your sites ranked. You'll you'll post this on sites which, let's say, they are fit for human consumption, but you're not really expecting visitors to come from there. But this might be for your bing link building purposes, or it might be just you know to ramp up your sites where you have your affiliate links, or maybe you have your online gaming uh, GUIs or whatever, which are usually very short of content, very thin. I think we've and just that's, asked. That's what it's for—to to actually make the search engines happy uh, with your site, with the content. It's not so much about you know having 25 million people or one guy reading the same story 25 million times. God Ralph, knows. let me ask you this. I think it was a great question, but I suppose the subsequent question is: Is it a, is it a decision between money or morals? What would you say? Well, morals is. We've said that before, actually, on many occasions. It's, uh, you know, ethics or morals in that business is just a cloaked form of hypocrisy. This is about technology and nothing else. It's up to you to do it or not. Hey, I'm not saying go with the black hat route, come so over to the black dark side, we have cookies. Hey? So let's presume for a no, moment. We can stuff you with them.